Not just basketball going on right now, wrestling season in full swing as well. And just like last year, McAllen Road dominating, winning all of their duels so far. They're 28 and one going back to 2010. They've won six of seven tournaments. How are the Warriors doing it? The old fashioned way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. After years of establishing themselves as one of the Valley's top wrestling programs, McAllen Rowe last season had their first state champion in Sarah Gonzalez. Gonzalez is gone, but almost everyone else is back from last year, and they've been working hard every day to prove that more gold is in their future. These kids have been working hard since last June. We took one, off, one month off during the summer. We started two a days uh, in September and worked all the way into November. So. We're working hard at what we do. The Warriors wrestling program, not just known valleywide, it's known statewide with three wrestlers ranked in the top 10 in the state. But those guys will tell you, it's not just an individual sport. It's got to be team or else it won't work. This is a team sport. You can't you can't make it uh, to stay as a team. That's individual, but to, to, to work hard, you drive everybody else to work as hard as you and you make the team better. And that's, that's what we're here for. When someone doesn't go, do their best, someone else fills in, so that's really good. The whole team pulls it off. Coach Randy Madsen says not as many people are out for the sport as he would like. Of course, every coach would say that, but he also says the ones that are out are the ones that he knows he can count on. I like to say no prima donnas here. Everybody's a band geek or choir boy or something else on the side, and so we sort of pride ourselves on uh, working hard in the class and, and uh, earning it through technique and outworking our opponents. Roe is at Corpus Christi Ray this weekend. All right, we'll be right back.